we're going to explore how we can connect your Arduino project into the internet by using the ESP8266 ESP01 module. So the data that you are seeing here is coming from the data that was retrieved from the internet through the ESP01 module. So both the Arduino project and the ESP01 microcontroller unit is communicating with each other to get the data and then display it into the LCD display. So if you're excited, then let's start exploring. Okay, so let's discuss first a little bit about the setup that we're having. So I have here the Arduino microcontroller unit and the ESP01 microcontroller unit also. Uh, as you can see, both of them are uh, microcontroller units. So we each need to program uh, those two microcontroller units separately. But as far as the communication is concerned, uh, we just need to connect uh, the receive port of the ESP8266 to the TX port of the Arduino. And the RX port of the Arduino is connected at the same time at the TX port of the ESP8266, ESP01. One thing to note is that uh, for both Arduino and ESP8266 to communicate with each other, we should set the baud rate at as uh, slower than 9,600 because a higher baud rate between the two uh, results into uh, garbled uh, messages between each other. So to discuss the wiring diagram, I have here the diagram that we're having. So this is the ESP01 uh, and the Arduino plus the LCD display that we're going to be using to display the data that is coming in from the ESP01. Okay, so there is a switch here. As you can see, uh, this is just connected to the reset switch of the Arduino. So I use this also during the programming of the ESP01 since I don't have uh, a ready programmer. So I just manually uh, set up the uh, ESP01 programming. So later in a separate video, I, I'll tell you how this is done. But for the meantime, this is the whole wiring diagram of the whole setup. Okay, so as far as the code is concerned, you can just go uh, to this link, which is the, the ESP project and try to take a look at the Arduino. This is the code that we're using. Uh, for the Arduino and the other one is the code that we're using to uh, Communicate with our uh, JSON source Okay, so uh, Probably let's just discuss a little bit regarding the JSON source that we are using. So this is the JSON source So if you would notice in here uh, if you change the value in here to 8 uh, date details is uh, changed. So we call this one as JSON or the JavaScript object notation. And basically, it's just a, a format that we can use, uh, a data format that we can use to uh, change. Uh, JSON is basically a interchange format that we can use to send and receive uh, between uh, two interfaces. So uh, the thing in here is that the more you, we increase the value in here, the more that we uh, receive a different uh, set of uh, JSON data. So we're, in this case, we're only interested in displaying the name object, but uh, you can change it depending on what details you wanted to change in here. Okay, so uh, just to take a note also before you conti continue uh, exploring this one, the SSID and the password should be changed accordingly 
uh, depending on the the name of your Wi-Fi and the password in here also. So in a separate video, uh, we're going to discuss how to uh, program the ESP01 because uh, we do not have any programmer in here that we can use to ESP01 using our laptop. So we're using the Arduino uh, itself to program our ESP01 module. So the code is in here and so there is a companion website that uh, I'll be linking here also so that uh, there's more explanation regarding how the code uh, is being coded. Okay, so I think that's it. So happy exploring.